How's it going, trappers? Uh, it's been a while since I made a video and uh, opening day at a PA. Uh, trapping season, fox, coyote, raccoon. Um, this is Saturday, and I'm just starting to prepare myself a little bit, getting things ready. Um, and there's something that I thought about would make a pretty good topic for a YouTube video uh, that some of you like, you know, might enjoy. Um, I'll just start out by kind of explaining what this is. I call this, this is just a, a small tool bag. Um, but I call this my truck bag. This is the bag of essential things um, that I need for my canine line that I always keep in the truck. Um, there's some things that I use a lot uh, there are some emergency emergency things that I don't really use that often. Um, but this was kind of born out of the idea of at the end of the season, I could take this bag out and it's pretty much ready to, you know, just check a few things in and it's pretty much ready to go the next season. Um, but the real big benefit where, where, I, where I kind of started doing this, um, I have multiple trucks and everybody knows it's... Uh, Sure thing is rain coming in trapping season that having truck problems is almost a, uh, just a sure thing. And if, if you have a breakdown on the trap line and you need to get a replacement truck to keep yourself moving, um, instead of having your, a lot of your emergency gear and a lot of your you know, everyday use gear scattered all over the cab of the truck, I just keep it in here. Um, so that from moving from one truck to another, it's quick and easy and you don't forget anything. Um, now, everybody's gonna have a different, you know, different items in this bag. Not everybody would have the same stuff that I do. Um, but I will go over to my bench and I'll kind of go through and show you what I keep in my bag. Um, and obviously I'll try to explain as I go, there's some things that I don't keep in this bag that may be in my um, trapping bag that I take with me to every set. Um, and then there's some things that are too big to go in there, just say like extra stake drivers and stuff that will, you know, ride either in the box of the truck, truck or somewhere in the cab. But all right, stay tuned. I'll uh, move the camera around and I'll, I'll show you what I got in my, in my truck, my canine line land trapping truck bag. I also have one of these for mink too. Maybe I'll do another video some other time on that, but it's basically the same principle. All right, I'm going to start kind of on the outside pockets um, and work my, my way into the interior of the bag clean up some of my mess here. Um, first thing is pretty important is a set of binoculars. These are just a cheap, small set of Tasco binoculars. I don't need a real high-end pair. I just want a small, actually they're Simmons, but Tasco makes one like that. Um, I just need a small compact pair uh, just, just to check sets from a distance. I Like I said, I don't need a real high-end set of binoculars for what I'm doing. Okay, on this, this uh, is my license. My trapping license goes in that pocket. Um, sometimes I'll keep a couple extra bottles of lure in there. I don't have a label, but uh, keep a couple extra bottles of lure in there. Um, and eh, sometimes this is an outside pocket, sometimes it's, it's inside, but this is just a pill bottle um, full of just Cheap bulk 22 long rifle ammo. Um, I use that sometimes for shooting raccoons. Uh, you know, I, I use it on occasion for chest shooting coyotes. But uh, back when 22 ammo was really hard to get, you, you couldn't be real picky with what you were using. Uh, so I started getting stingy and just use uh, cheap, you know, round nose lead 22 ammo for most everything so i keep i keep a full pill ball of that all right um the other thing the other things that i saved for last year is 
This is my uh, small flashlight. Um, this is what I use a lot of times to hold out the truck window to check sets. Uh, make sure, you know, that they're not uncovered, that the trap isn't snapped, you know, whatnot. So th th I use this light a lot. If I'm checking in the dark, this, this is what I put out the window to kind of kind of make sure my set is still operational. This is a headlamp that clips onto the brim of your ball cap. Um, this I use if I'm out in a dart for remakes. Um, now I actually started selling it. I, I have a lighted uh, TS trap line cap. So when I wear that, this is really not going to be needed anymore. Um, but you don't need a whole lot of light for remaking sets. It's, it's not like you need a headlamp if you're going down over creek banks and, um, you know, there's briars, there's trees, you got to watch your footing. Most of the time canine trapping, uh, you're, you know, driving right up to the set. So you just need a little bit of light just to kind of see what you're doing. Um, get the animal dispatched and, and remake your set. So that's my set making lighting and my out the truck window uh, set checking lighting to make sure the trap is, you know, functional and not snapped, not uncovered or anything. Okay, now we'll start going into the interior of the bag. And this, I carry, this is instead of using like a powerful mag light or spotlight, um, this is if I get out and I have to walk, say it's raining and, and, uh, I gotta, I gotta check sets a little bit at a distance. Um, either this or a decent sized mag light or this is just a rechargeable spotlight. Um, so this works pretty good at, you know, checking sets at a distance when it's not a hundred percent light out yet in the morning. Um, and also I keep my charger in the bag with it so that I do not lose it all right i talked about that 22 ammo that i had in the in the, that just bulk 22 ammo that i had in the pill bottle on the outside um, these are 22 cb shorts i use these for skunk to chest skunk dispatch these are a really really good uh you know really good round for out out of a rifle for for what i'm doing with those um Quiet 22s are very similar. I just kind of had them in there. And CCI segmented hollow point quiets. Um, I've used these segmented hollow points, the, the standard, well, there's a subsonic and then there's like a standard velocity for chest shooting coyotes. The pieces break up into three um, and they do a really good job with chest, chest shot dispatch coyotes. But these are, are another good, you know, skunk round, but um, that's that's kind of what this specialty ammo is for is for skunks. And I will show I do have an ammo wallet. I, I, I probably carry more ammo than I than I need, but I keep an ammo wallet in the inside pocket. Um, these are some of those CCI segmented hollow points right there. Um, and the rest is just I think your your basic. These are just some, I just have a, a hodgepodge of ammo in there, but um, I really should fill this up with what I actually use in the trap line. I have, I have way more ammo in here than what I need. Okay. Have a couple PVC pipes in there, just a couple extra in case I want to make any pipe sets. I carry a vice, I used to carry a vice grip in my main trapping bag for many years and a vice grip is a great tool for pulling rebar stakes. Um, but I'm not using a lot of rebar till the winter time, but I still kept the vice grip because I, I do pound pilot holes for my, for my cable stakes. And sometimes if you do have, if you do break the head off or, or you break the handle, that you have a heck of a time getting it out. If you can get a vice grip on it and twist it, you can get it out of the ground. There's nothing worse than, you know, having a, a pilot hole maker or stake driver stuck in a farmer's field and you got to drive home for tools. Um, so that's why this rides, this is, uh, rides in my truck bag is just an emergency if you need a vice grip. I do carry 
trap tuning tools in my in my actual trapping bag um two pliers and a screwdriver just for uh, tuning up the traps if paying attention and whatnot but you know this is more or less just an emergency if i have to get a stake out of the ground so i carry an extra slip joint pliers this is a simple tool i use to close my quick links when i attach my trap to the top of the cable stick i just use a 3 16 inch quick link and I, I keep a couple of these in the truck, but I always keep an extra one in the bag in case I lose it. A spare pair of trapping gloves um, in case you get some really miserable, nasty, wet and muddy. Uh, if you get them all skunk, skunked up bad, I like to keep a new pair as a spare always in that bag. Cable stakes. I always keep a few extra cable stakes in this bag. Um, most of the, I don't actually, these are emergencies. If I would need to put a set in and I wasn't planning on making, making sets that day. And, uh, I, I didn't have my, you know, my other tools with me that I, you know, my bag that I keep the, the cable stakes in. These are just extras. If I just need to move a set or put in a new set, I just like to keep a couple extras of these in this bag. Um, here's another pill bottle, and I keep a couple new, nice new shiny quick links in there in case I need one, and trap tags. You never know when an animal pulls a trap tag off. It's always good to keep a couple trap trap tags with you in case you need them. Um, the last thing is I, I keep a couple just black garbage bags in here. Um, you find uses for them all the time. Uh, I, I just, it's just an emergency item that I like to have in my truck is black garbage bags. Um, you know, if you have a really nasty, bloody animal, sometimes you can put it in there before you can get it washed, you know, till you can have time to get it washed up. But it's just, when you have these, you just think of uses all the time for, for a couple, um, having a couple garbage bags. So that is pretty much it. Um, you know, like I said, it's this is going to be different for everybody. Um, this is kind of what I carry. Uh, and, you know, th this is just, you know, ne some necessity, some emergency things. Um, but all my little odds and ends, so I don't have it scattered all over the cab of the truck. Uh, like I said, my, my actual trapping bag that I walk to to every set with, that has the stuff I need. Um, for every, you know, for making, remaking and making sets. Um, and then I have other stuff in my truck, uh, you know, dispatch, I have a stick, uh, a weed cutter, you know, the bigger stuff that isn't going to fit in here, the stuff that more uh, normally rides in the back. Um, but th this is kind of the, like I said, essentials and emergency items, small things that I can keep in one bag, um, at the end of the year, you take your bag out, you put it away and it's pretty much ready to go for next year. You just charge your batteries or replace batteries in your lights. Um, and if you have a breakdown on the line, it's real easy to just grab this bag and your other big tools, throw them in another vehicle and you're on your way.